So it has been a long time, but uh, I've got my 12 string here with me. So uh, we're in for another another Neil Young tutorial. This time it's the mighty powder finger. I took this from a, a live recording he did at Cleveland in 1992. You can find a video on YouTube, but I will link it uh, to my video. So the 12 string. Um, in the uh, dropped tuning, so it's standard tuning, but every all every string is lowered one full note or one full step. So this means you get your first note instead of an E, you've got a D, then you've got a G, you've got a C, F, A, D. So. So when I'm playing, normally powder finger is in the key of G. Uh, when you're playing in standard tuning, so when I'm playing the G chord now, in reality that's an F chord. So this makes the song a bit easier to sing. Nowadays in live performances, he still uh, he still can sing the tune in its original key, so in the key of G. That's the whole song. So the whole song keeps on repeating this sequence. So there are only uh, four chords in the song, a G, a C, a B minor, uh, and a D. And as I told you, so if you can play this intro, you can play the whole song. In the Cleveland version, he uses this, his, he plays this as an intro and he uses his uh, mouth harp to solo in the key of F over these chords. Added G note, 
back to the G. Then the C with the G in the bass. So it's your, this is your Neil Young G chord. So you got your third finger on the third fret on the first string, middle finger on the second fret on the second string, and your pinky on the third fret of your uh, highest string. This makes it easy to change your index finger and your middle finger to the C note on the B string, index finger, and the second fret of the third string with your middle finger. Again to the G. So look out my hammering, uh, pulling and hammering the second fret of the third string. So. This makes for a C sus chord. Look out mama, there's a Yeah. 